Welcome to Ace Soft Academy. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use hyperlink and what is a hyperlink and how a hyperlink works. So let's start. So what is hyperlink? Hyperlink is a link in the document, in web document, using which the user can navigate from the current web page to another web page or website. The World Wide Web is full of hyperlinks linking millions of web pages and files to one another. The most important attribute of the A element is the href attribute, which shows the link's destination. To create the above hyperlink, tap the below code in the HTML document. So let's create a hyperlink. To create that, let's open Sublime Text. And now a h r e f equals to h t t p w dot google dot com. Click here go to Google website and then a close. A close. Now let's save it. Desktop HTML5 and then hyperlink one one dot HTML. You can give any name HTML. Now let's save it. Let's go to the folder and open that page called the link. You can see this is our hyperlink. If you place the mouse here, then it became hyper. That means the hand sign. Now, if you click here, then it will go to google.com website. So, by default, the link will appear as follows in the browsers an unvisited link. That means when you have not clicked, then it will show underlined and blue. A visited link is underlined and purpose. Once you click, then it shows underlined and purple. You can see this. And an active link is underlined and red. So what is activity? If I click here, I have to keep pressing the mouse, then you can see underline and red. Now, suppose you want to open the new page in a new window. So what is happening currently, if I click here, then it goes to google.com, but the previous page we cannot see here. So what we are actually targeting here that this page should remain as it is and when we click then it should go to google.com. That means if we want to open the link into new window. So let's see how we can change this. If you write here target then let's go blank. Now it will open in new window. Now let refresh it. Then if you click here, then it opens google.com, but this page is still here. So the link is opening in new window. In hyperlink, we can use ID attribute also. So what is this ID? The ID attribute can be used to create a bookmark inside an HTML document and anchor within ID inside an HTML document. So let's see what does this mean. Suppose you want to create a page with FAQ. For example, this is uh, Question one. 
for each HTML. Then head title. Then title close. Title close. Then head close. And then body start and body close here. Or at the end, there will be HTML close. So here we are creating a list of FAQs. So question number one, what is HTML? Then question number two, what is Java? Question number three, what is C? Question number four, what is Angular? Question number five, what is Java script. Now we want to hyperlink it. So let's save it. Hyperlink ID dot HTML. Let's put here BR. Copy paste simply. Now, answers here. Answer one. So what I'm doing, just copy paste this so that the answer becomes longer. Like this. And also, I'm going to put this inside P tag. Okay. Now, I will just copy paste this one. Two, three, four, and five. Now I will create here a hyperlink. A H R T F equals to. Now has H T ml then a close same way a h r e f and then has java let's close a then a h r e f equals to has C A H R E F equals to has angular A close A H R E F has JavaScript 
and then a close now I will put here id equal to html so that this id refers to actually this one this id refers to the above one same way we will create this id has java id not has actually only this one there will be no has actually yeah. so java and then id c and then id angular and id finally id javascript so now let's test it into the browser sorry your file the name hyperlink dash id dot html hyperlink dash id dot so this is the file actually it will be easier to understand if we put the above question in the top and all the answers below okay so let's do this simply let's copy paste this br and paste so that the question is in the top but answers are below so if i click here then it takes me to answer one also to understand better do one thing put here now what we will do we will paste here few more br so that it is separated from each other So say it is H2 HTML and then HTML closed. So I'm just putting the heading actually to understand it better. Now the section will be Java. Same way. Let's paste and then here C C program again copy this and paste here. Then same way we'll put a heading here. Say mm, Angular and finally this one and then JavaScript heading. Now let's test into the browser. 
Okay, so these are the list of the questions in the top. These are the list of the questions in the top. So when we click, when the user clicks on any of this link, then it should, it should take to that section. You can see. But you can you can see here the hyperlink is in, in is in the same page. The page is not uh, you know going anywhere else. You can see in the URL, it's just changing hash c so if i click angular then it will become hash angular and it will it will take me to angular section this is also called a bookmarking this is beneficial when you are trying to create a list where the user can jump from the top section to the bottom to a particular section so hope you understand this and in the next video i will show you with a practical example of hyperlink thanks for watching